Hello and welcome back again to Rage Gaming and more Wild Stalk. This time we're doing a bit of a focus on a specific monster. We're talking about the flagship itself, Arkveld, the White Wraith, everything we know about it and what we can speculate. All the fun talk and theory around this very interesting monster. There's a lot of back and forth over the design, whether people like it or not, but I think it's going to evolve as I'll talk about through this video. But let's kick off with the main thing, which is the story here. This is previously thought as an extinct monster species, and that's what's going to draw us to the Forbidden Lands where we're going from Monster Hunter Wild. Here's the official description of Arkveld, a monster known among the Commission as the White Wraith, described as having unique chain-like appendages extending from the wings. A species long thought to be extinct, its ecology remains shrouded in mystery. And this monster is definitely mysterious. There's a lot of questions around this with what they're going to do, why it's doing what it's been shown to be doing, especially that really mysterious shot where it's kind of seemingly chained up against a wall. And yet if you actually look at the chains, the physical ones, not the ones that are coming out of the monster, they're kind of deep purple and opaque, like see-through. So... Maybe they're not real and they're more metaphorical. Let's talk about the main story for the game and how that intertwines very importantly with this White Wraith. The fates of a people and nature entwined. At the center, a boy named Nata and the mysterious White Wraith. Several years ago, a boy named Nata was discovered near the border of the Forbidden Lands, an uncharted region that was believed by the guild to actually be uninhabited, but that was just not true. Nata recounted how his village was attacked by a mysterious monster, and in response, the guild organized this expedition to investigate. Our hunter then was assigned to one of the units going in for this investigation, finding out about the White Wraith and trying to rescue Nata's people known as the Keepers. So that's really important. The tribe the boy is from is apparently called the Keepers. And with the White Wraith's whole escape from what we assume was some kind of prison, it does seem like the Keepers are all slain, but Nata in that event. Yet we're going there to potentially rescue them, so maybe not. Who were the Keepers? Why is it they were keeping a monster like this in a prison? Again, in that screenshot or image where we're looking at it change the wall, this monster, when you really look at it, something about it feels really old to me, like an ancient monster. And I think that's reflected in the destroyed city that's all around the Scarlet Forest. If you didn't catch it during the trailer 4, is the backgrounds of these hills and mountains that have structures built into them. These huge stone structures and wood platforms around that, surrounded and encased by these giant kind of like monster fangs. This represented whatever civilization used to live here because it's obviously now in quite the decay. Some of these tower towns are super decayed to the point where they're falling apart or even being consumed by the surrounding waters. There's this nice wide shot where we get a look at quite a lot of these structures along the hills here. Still decayed, not as bad as the one in the water. Quite big. You could call it a city. I am wondering or speculating, I guess, if the two things are associated then. This ruined former gone civilization and Arkveld as a species. In any case, we now know that the Woodwoods have made a home in these ruined towns. So there's still life there now. In any case, in regards to Nata, the, the mysterious boy, people are calling him the Ahab of Wilds, while Arkveld is essentially the Moby Dick. After all, Nata starts everything off having survived an attack with this monster. And then during the trailer, there's this scene, Nata's calling out like, you have a weapon. Why aren't you using it right now to fight this monster? Even's trying to say like, if you're not going to use it, give me the weapon. Though obviously it's a child and he has no idea what he's doing with it, he's desperate to, well, take down Arkveld. So I do really like this comparison of Ahab and Moby Dick. So that's kind of the story as we know it, and we'll get more into it. But Arkveld as a classified monster type is interesting. It is indeed the flagship of the game, confirmed in many ways, and obviously so because it's on the box art that's now been revealed. What kind of monster is this though? Is it an Elder Dragon? It would seem that it isn't. This great post by Kogath talks about it, referring to its official title that we've seen as a chain blade wyvern. It's not using the kanji usually used for elder dragons, so it really doesn't seem like one, at least not right now. But it does kind of give this kind of vibe that it's as strong or comparable to them. So as a chain blade wyvern, as it's being referenced, we do look at the kind of model, the skeleton of it, and compare it to something like Tigrex or Naga Cougar. 
but also, you know, we can look back at the wing whip wyverns and their skeletons used in Frontiers. There's quite a few different wing whip options. A lot of people jump to the Xana Serasu comparison. And understandably, it's a flying wyvern that has these whips coming out of the two sides of its wings, which is just like what we see with Arkveld. The thing is, the wing whip skeleton from Frontiers was basically just a regular flying wyvern. So yeah, when are they going to define this? When are we going to get more information? Well, they've said we're going to hear more about Arkveld specifically, quote unquote, soon. So yeah, we'll see. In regards to those chains then and this chained up image, you can see there's quite a lot of chains going on here. The kind of metaphorical see-through purple ones, and then the ones that seem to actually be coming out of the monster. And here, it looks like there's four coming out of it. And then, you know, in different bits of the gameplay or screenshots, it does look like there's only two. So I'm not really sure how many chains are coming out of Arkveld, but I would assume, say, on the sides of its forearms, at least one chain thing is coming out of both of those, if not four. Now, as it is a monster that's essentially extinct, this is the last Arkveld, it would seem. It's ghostly grey and pale and white, seemingly ancient as a monster. There's people making references to ghosts and how chains often represent their chain to the mortal realm. What's keeping them from kind of passing on? This metaphorical see-through purple stack of chains here could represent that the Arkveld is being chained to life because essentially like a ghost, its mission, its goal in life, it isn't complete and it can't leave until it is complete. Though there are obviously themes about it being prisoned by the keepers, so some of these chains may very well be real. Those metaphorical chains though, they are a deep purple and that's shown actually in the real whips that are attached to the monster in different scenes. There's a deep purple colour that runs through them at different times. Not all the time it would seem, but at times. I talked about this with Josh and he was saying that, you know, they're doing this kind of signature status or element thing with a lot of the flagships at this point. Take Magnum Mallow and it's Hellfire. Perhaps this deep purple colour with the whips will be a unique status or element kind of like that. But again, we have these theories to do with the grey and white appearance and what's truly under there. A lot of the criticism that I see for Arkveld and its design is that kind of shade of grey and white that it is and how it's kind of bland and not that exciting. I think there's going to be an evolution to this monster in its story but potentially also its physical side. This deep purple could represent what's actually under there. If you imagine it's been in a cave and it's just covered in dust and ash, it could very well be that it's got a layer of skin or whatever, debris, over what's truly under there, and at a certain point it may break out and become a lot more colourful. Maybe bright or deep purple. So in regards to how it's hunting other flagships, if you don't know, it is doing that. We see this key scene where it's going into Ray Dao's actual nest and then having a fight with it and ultimately dominating Ray Dao to the point that Ray instantly runs away. But it's not just Ray Dao. Othduna, the apex predator of the Scarlet Forest, appears in one of the first scenes of this trailer in the chains wrapped up, having already deeply lost a battle. So we've already seen the examples of Arkveld having dominated two apex predators of two locales. What is this about? Why is he going from locale to locale, dominating the current apex predator? Is he trying to establish himself as the true apex? Or is something else going on here? The big question is if this is going to be yet another bait and switch. Take Malzano being the kind of sunbreak flagship, the main center point of the story. And then Garang kind of shows up as the true threat the whole time, which is something we've seen multiple times before. It is hard to say whether they're going to do this or not, because it seems like Arkveld again isn't an elder dragon, although seemingly comparable to that level of power or threat. It does give you the vibe then at like 70% into the story as not. Normal, suddenly we'll find out about Elder Dragons and then they'll take over the story. But with the way that Arkveld is dominating the other Apexes, I'm hoping, and it does sim, like it'll be different. He's doing this locale roam thing for a reason, we just don't know what it is right now. And in my opinion, him having a purpose and some sort of old intelligence as a mystery we need to solve before it's too late, I find that way more compelling than him being overshadowed by like a later revealed true threat. One theory in regards to that though is the main logo now we've seen Arkveld. It shows these two serpent-like designs with two different heads. One is going straight up while the other is kind of curving down and around at the bottom. So there's a theory that this represents Arkveld trying to escape its fate of extinction, right? Going up while the other serpent is like holding it and dragging it down. That could represent the potential Elder Dragon that may be led to the extinction of the Arkveld species compared to the Keepers. Maybe Arkveld is actually hunting the other flagships to find the true Apex Predator 
of the Forbidden Lands as a whole to get revenge and fight it. But yeah, that's the overall information we have about this very mysterious, ancient, thought extinct species. Possible Elder Dragon, maybe not Elder Dragon. And like I said, we do have promises of more information about Arkveld to come, so we'll have to wait and see. Let us know what you're thinking about this creature then. But for now, I've been Hollow, you've been you. Thanks for watching. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.